Hey guys, T Glizzy here, and today we have an exclusive Bungie interview. Recently, Joe Blackburn, Destiny 2's game director, was on Skill Up's podcast, Friends Per Second, and these amazing hosts were able to ask tons of questions about Destiny 2 and the Lightfall expansion. And one of the questions that Skill Up asked was, was Root of Nightmares too easy in its contest mode? We actually get a response from Bungie themselves. Joe is going to be giving us a response about, is Root of Nightmares too easy? I'm going to go ahead and play that clip, and then I'm going to be giving my own response after i kind of just want to close off one question in relation to lightfall and that's about the raid which obviously has dropped its uh root of nightmares um a lot of discussion in the community with relation to that raid and how quickly it was beaten on contest mode and its current difficulty tuning right now on normal so i mean you're across all that noise i think anyone watching destiny is going to be across that as well what's your general take on that discussion and in particular did Bungie go into this planning to make a raid that was quite easy or did that sort of happen by mistake or like yeah I guess th those are the those are the broad questions that I'm asking yeah and and so for this is like really close to home for me I I grew up on the mean streets of raid design <laughs> uh, my history before getting into development was like I was a super hardcore raider in, in other games uh, and this was like I, I love this stuff so um, we've seen this uh, a lot, I think, again, going back to something that we talked about before, which is the, like, how your content hits when a million people play it. There's always a little bit of a surprise. Mm -hmm. um, and so throughout the years, we've had raids, world first races that have gone on for uh, almost 24 hours. We've had raid races minutes. that have gone yeah. on, yeah, yeah, for <laughs> an hour, right, that are, like, at an, an hour 30. Um, uh, I, I think back to so we had this raid at the end of Destiny One called Wrath of the Machine. I think its time as time to completion was like uh, two hours and five minutes, or right under two hours. Um, and I can remember being in the uh, the theater. The whole raid team used to get in the theater and watch the world first race. We had a Twitch up, and we'd all be sitting in the things, and we're like, "Woo, that was fast!" Right? Like that was <laughs> that was really fast, and. And are people going to be mad about this? And I think initially there was this whole wave of people that were like, oh, this raid is too easy. And, you know, what, what happened? We just had this other big raid. And then that sentiment quickly blew over into this thing that was, oh, this raid is so fun, right? And it's like, I, I love to do it every time. And so I think one of the things that we first say is that, like, we in talking to a bunch of designers that have maybe never seen this feedback before is, Okay, one thing that we know that does not correlate is the time to beat a world's first race to the longevity, the ranking, how much fun this thing is. Um, sure. and, and one thing that I think we really like about it is that no matter where the, the time is, it's an even race for everyone. You may not know if it's going to be a marathon or it's going to be a sprint, but everyone had the same challenge laid in front of them when they did it. Now, I, th I think getting into this, now we think about, okay, what is going on in the Destiny sandbox? What did we like about this experience and what didn't we like? And so this is the exact thing that we talked about earlier when we talked about that feedback cycle and the team is looking into it and they're saying, okay, well, uh, what what should a Destiny contest day one look like? How long should it take? How many people uh, are beating it? Mm -hmm. um, and so we we're, we're look at those numbers, but we still say, okay, but in the final shape right like that name's got a lot going on with it what should that experience be like and and should it be like this and so all the team is looking into that and i think they're they're um they're reacting to that feedback again i don't want to get out in front of the team who's been sure. looking at this for for four days and saying hey this is the thing we're committed to um but i will say they are uh looking at their strategy for the year uh and i i think making a bunch of really smart decisions based off that so yeah, they're seeing the whole conversation. They're figuring out, hey, okay, where, where are we going from here? Okay. So there we have it from Bungie themselves. They completely understand that the Root of Nightmares raid is considered to be too easy, but the factor that they were trying to aim at was fun factor. They wanted the raid to be fun, action-packed, and they definitely hit that note for sure. This raid reminds me a lot of Wrath of the Machine and Crota Zen. Those raids are extremely fun, but they're super simple and they're extremely short, so you can complete those raids extremely fast. I feel like Root of Nightmares is getting the same treatment here, and that's not a bad thing at all. This is a great introduction raid for new raiders 
hours to hop in the mechanics aren't too intense you can honest to god catch on pretty quick these mechanics are a lot more basic compared to like last wish mechanics but again that is not a bad thing it seems like bungie is laying down stepping stones for the final shape and that is what they really want to get to their final goal is the final shape so as joe said basically they're going to take all of our feedback and they're going to apply this to the final shape so with wrath of the machine or whatever reprise raid's going to be coming in the summertime for the lightfall expansion it seems like that raid they're going to be experimenting one more time maybe the raid that we get that is reprised for the summer is going to be extremely hard because they made this raid extremely easy i think they're trying to find that perfect middle ground so when the final shape raid does launch it is just absolutely perfected but yeah guys that's going to do it for me in this destiny 2 video let me know what you thought of the interview down in the comment section and i'm going to get out of here for the day y'all have a great rest of your day i have been your boy t glizzy you guys have been my awesome viewers and i'll see you guys in another peace